Hey guys, um, don't mind how messy my car is. I think I say that every single time we're in the car together, but you know, my mom with her move and with just basically reorganizing my entire house, I have a lot of stuff in my back seat. Okay, anyway, so I just got out of the shower. We're just gonna go ahead and reverse and get out of my driveway right now. Um, so I scheduled a little vacay for me and the boyfriend um, for like spring break. So, and I thought that it would be perfect timing to get a Brazilian wax, okay? So I've never been waxed before. Um, our trip isn't until May, but you know, it's the first week of April and I want, I just want everything to be good. I wanna see how it goes. I wanna see how my body reacts to it. Once I get there and I'm like walking in, I'm gonna be like, what did I say? Eagle, spread, spread eagle for these ladies, whatever. And this is gonna be weird. I might just start with the bikini line, guys. We'll see. So it's about, I don't know, 15 minutes basically from my house. So we're on the road, I'm out of my neighborhood. I'm about to make this wicked left turn. What else? There's a lot I've been meaning to tell you guys. First of all, I think my heated seats are on and that's in the way. So how about yesterday was rainy and today is rainy as well. Literally expecting snow. It was actually rainy all day yesterday. I did a double at the restaurant. I worked 10 to 10 basically. That wasn't fun at all. I never want to do that ever again. It sucked and the people I was surrounded with sucked. So we're thinking twice about that right now. Word about talking about the restaurant. Um, I got in trouble for my nails. I guess somebody left a bad review about my nails being too long. Um, they said I was super sweet, but I brought them the wrong pizza. I did bring them the wrong pizza. Um, I've been a waitress for so long and yes, I know I have screw ups, but like they have a thousand and one people taking our food, like running our food for us at this restaurant that I work at right now. So I know the day that they were talking about and yeah, so I know I'm sure it wasn't my screw up because if I screw up, it would be on like the most, like everybody would have already been new. I would have already said about it. I would have already fixed it. Everything would have been cool. So yeah, that's really annoying. So, you know, um, I'm processing right now what I'm about to do with my nails. Other than that, anyway, um, usually we're super busy at the restaurant because we have outdoor seating and yesterday was just perfection because it was rainy and I just was in a very slow mood. Like I just had no energy yesterday. I had been wanting a day to chill and yesterday was kind of my day to chill. I just like hung around, I went easy and that was it. I mean, it was, it was a good day. I still walked out with a good amount of money. Um, but a, a 10 to 10, that is just too long for me. I lost interest by noon, you know? So today, if I get this wax done, which we're doing, I'm getting the bikini line, okay? I'm, I'm invested. So the place I'm going to, you actually get your first wax for free. Very curious. What does that even mean? Does that mean like you're not going to want to come back after the first time? I don't know. I'm obviously going to tip heavy. I'll probably tip the exact price. Um, if, if that's, if bird is the word, you know, I don't know what else to say to you guys right now. I'm just like, I'm driving and I'm thinking and I don't know how I feel, but I do know I'm hungry. I was going to bring coffee and then I was like, I'm already running late. I'm not going to have enough time to go ahead and pour my coffee. So we'll probably go to Dunkin'. I need to go shopping. I guess I'll see you guys when I get there. At first, I really, really, really wanted to take you guys in with me so you could just like look at my face and you can kind of tell what I'm going through. But I don't know if they're gonna allow it. And truthfully, I think I just wanna be like alone and handle it, okay? I don't know. Um, oh, if I get waxed today though, I will be getting waxed two more times before we leave for vacation. So I kind of have the date set up perfectly as long as this goes over well. Yeah. I really thought I knew where I was going. <laughs> I'm at the wrong place. I don't know what I was doing. Ugh, I'm so annoying, I'm so ugly. I really thought I knew where I was going. I don't. Look at my hair, it looks so crazy. I feel so weird when I have a side part over here because my hair just kind of like naturally does whatever it wants every time I wash it. So I actually just went about four or five days without washing. It was hard. 
And since I worked at the restaurant last night, I really didn't want to wash it before I went there. But I was a grease ball. So I did like a light wash with like an everyday shampoo. And then today I did my Olaplex this morning. I just wanted to be clean, fresh exfoliated, smelling good. You know, I'm getting a little nervous now. <laughs> and well, actually, I'm right on time. I knew that I would be here quicker than what the GPS would say, even though I didn't know I was going to. The, you know what I'm saying? Even though I went to the wrong place. <laughs> OK, we made it. It's behind me. You probably can't see it. Um, but I parked next to a Tesla and I want one so bad. But the whole point of me telling you guys about the weather earlier, I don't know if I finished what I was saying, um, but it was like high 70s like a good like good 60 high 60 70s like the past week maybe um it's been up and down but we had really good weather and it is snowing right now yeah it is snowing um i have my my little sweat outfit on um that's kind of warm because i just didn't know what to expect today i cannot believe it's snow though but uh yeah i uh i'm nervous but i'm gonna go in I wore this mask to work last night and it smells like pizza. Ew. <laughs> Yo! That wasn't that bad. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm actually just gonna leave my mask on because I gotta go across the street and get some gas. But it is snowing right now. Full blown out snowing. Look. Ugh. Yeah, not happy about the snow, but it's a good outfit to be in for the day, you know. Um, that wasn't bad at all, thankfully. Just had a really good human to do it. I was really nervous because I'm like, if I got like a weird older lady, I don't know how comfortable it would make me feel. She's literally like, okay, drop your drawers and get on the table. <laughs> I'm thinking like, would you stand in there? And she was just standing there waiting for me. I'm like, okay. <laughs> I just start getting undressed. Oh my god, I feel like my pants are sticking to my vagina. I, I didn't even look at it. I don't even know what we look like down there. I'm gonna look right now. As smooth as a baby's bottom. Now, when I say I literally have like thick, coarse Italian hair and I have very sensitive skin. So it just like cancels out. It's like just the worst combo I feel like ever. And seriously, it was not bad whatsoever. We were just talking and she ripped that shit and I was like, did that just happen? And then she did like the top part and I was like, oh, I felt that one. I felt that one. And then she did the other side and I was like expecting it. So I was like, uh. and then the, the last one, I was like, okay. But then she was like, we could do the top too. Like just like the, the brim of the top, you know? So she just yanked it and I was like, that was sensitive that that was a lot um at least now i know where to drive to next time i had no idea where i was going but yeah that was um that was a lot i don't know what to say i'm still like digesting my my thoughts that was a lot hmm. well we need to get gas and like some breakfast oh i also forgot to tell you guys um, she made me get this product. It's the ingrown hair serum. There's a hair on me as I say that. Hey, we're getting gas. <sighs> yeah, it is freezing outside. So I stopped and got gas. And I went to Walgreens real quick because it's like right across the street. And um, yeah, they don't have any squishmallows. I thought I would just check. But she told me to call back around like 10 30, 11 whatever so right now i think while i'm out this direction i guess we'll go to cosmo prof i didn't feel like going um and i should go to salon centric but i don't feel like going there because it's even further so we're gonna go to cosmo prof and get um some new products that i need for the new salon so the new salon is opening next week i don't know when you guys will be seeing this video i'm gonna try my best to get it edited as quick as possible but my life has been absolutely insane lately and every day it just it never stops being insane I gotta get some heat on in here it's freezing but i could have wore a jacket um you know whatever <sighs> i'm hungry we'll do food and drinks last because you know chance is at home so i'm gonna want to bring him something um yeah we're gonna head to cosmo prof real quick and then i'll let you guys know what i got yeah, we went um, shopping at the dollar store. So I put all my Cosmo Pop back here, all my stuff. I got a lot. I have like five bags. So I could totally show you all of that. But 
so <laughs> I plan to do a little bit like um, moving into the salon with us and everything. So we got a new salon. Um, if you don't follow my beauty page on Instagram, you probably don't know that. Um, but yeah, so we got a new salon. I'm very, very excited. It's beautiful. And you know, a new environment is just going to be cool regardless. So I wanted to go out and get some retail and um, fill in my color a little bit. I was missing out on a, on quite a bit of the color line there. So yeah, I, um, I just dropped a lot of money. I spent like 500 at Cosmo Prof. Um, and then I spent 50 at the Wax Center. And then I spent like 45 at the dollar store. So um, might as well just keep the ball rolling here. And I'm going to go ahead and give Walgreens a call and see if they have any Squishmallows. And then we need to decide like what we're going to eat because I'm so hungry. Bad news. Um, I just got off the phone with Walgreens and they don't have any Squishmallows. That sucks because while I was out this way, I just thought it would be pretty perfect to uh, run there real quick. But, you know, whatever. Today's not the day for Squish. First of all, tell me why this is a Duncan and a Sunogo. I just... Literally, the line is so long. So long. And this isn't my usual go-to Duncan. So, like, I didn't think all Duncans were like this because personally, ours is terrible but this one is so bad and gas is five cents cheaper at the sunoco than where i went for gas so that's cool um anyway times like this i feel like i should have just went to starbucks like i literally should have just went to starbucks why am i here why do i sit in the line for dunkin donuts i'll sit in a line for some starbucks so lately my go-to drink has been an iced matcha latte with two pumps of chai and they'll do it at starbucks and duncan did it for so long and then all of a sudden now they won't do it if you haven't ever tried that just go to starbucks don't waste your time going to duncan get the starbucks iced matcha latte with two pumps of chai whatever you want you know however chai you want it so good other than that i think i'm gonna get my my regular old sweet black pepper bacon sandwich because that sounds good and i know it'll hit like chance would be so happy with that um i really wanted to do like a i don't know like a stir fry zucchini squash chicken rice type of thing for dinner tonight but my brother's birthday is on easter so we're gonna do a little early birthday dinner for him tonight and then you know easter will be a little more easter ish i think he has other plans anyways on the day of his birthday but um yeah that's it really um i was just thinking food wise so probably gonna eat this and then i won't eat until we go to my to my dad's house sorry there's so much traffic going on right now there's so much this is chaos should have went to starbucks mm, when's it gonna be my turn mm. Mm, 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 waiting in the drive through and it's tiny huh can I do sweet black pepper bacon sandwiches on everything bagels, two of them? And then that's it. All right, so one large cold foam cold brew, vanilla and caramel and cream. Another cold brew um, with vanilla, coconut, just black, and then a sweet black pepper bacon sandwich on everything bagel. Um, yeah, two of those sweet black pepper bacon, yeah. And then um, can I have cream in that second cold brew as well? Just cream? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. But your girl got hooked up on the sweet cold foam. I had a free drink, so I went with the with the big one. Okay, it's just worth it. But uh, y'all know the vibes. It feels so good to be at a home. To, at a home? <laughs> to be at home in my nice clean house. That's sarcasm. But first of all, let's start with yesterday i think was it no the day before yesterday yesterday yeah i worked that long shift at work at the restaurant um and then the day before that we went to the flea market and we just kind of checked some things out we got pizza it was such a good day went to the chocolate shop got some chocolates and everything and i just had to show you guys look look at this <laughs> i'm so obsessed it's a cupcake book bag yeah i was gonna like clean it and give it to my niece but i think i want it so yeah and I, I don't really want to give like a flatique type gift so you know i um yeah, i got this for myself 
So from the dollar store, I got this mermaid just because I got my niece a Barbie boat and she's not like old enough, I feel like, to even understand it yet. So I just got like a cheap, stupid Barbie. And then I got these baby dolls, brunette one and this. They're from the dollar store. I mean, you could tell the quality's not really there, but I think they're cute. Oh, I got another mermaid sister. They have um, colored hair, so they're cool. Um, and then I got these little things for soup. I mean, hey, you never know when you want to take something warm to work. And even then, I just kind of thought for a, a mug, you know, like I could put my coffee in here and then just reheat it up at work or whatever it is. Cheap, but I like it. One's going to be for my brother's Easter basket. And then again, this stupid product that they made me buy. I don't know. It's not stupid. I'm going to probably apply it here in a second. Then I got this basket because they don't have any Easter baskets and I thought I had some at home and I was just going to get one to be sure. So I have to double check, um, but if not, we're just going to use that. Okay, then we have our couch. I mean, like, do you see where I was going with this? I think, I think it's cute. And then two little chairs. It's just going to go good in the Easter basket, okay? If they sit in them or not but I think it's cute. Okay, what else? Oh, I got Easter bags because I was looking for these. Usually my mom is like the queen of finding like the plain basket bags because these ones are kind of cheesy, but I think they're cute and it'll make it a little bit more festive because I don't necessarily have a ton of like Easter-ish things to give. Um, and then we have 28 because it'll be my brother's birthday. So I'm gonna kind of make his Easter basket and birthday gift all in one. I'm gonna try and keep his and hers separate. The other stuff's gonna be for my niece for the most part. Otherwise, I bought it for myself. Um, batteries, because our thermostat literally ran out of batteries the other night and it wasn't producing heat. Like, I guess if it's out of batteries, the heat just turns off. So we have that fixed, but I just wanted to get more in the future. Oh, I saw this cool little figurine. We ride quads, so I thought that that might be cute for my brother i don't know just to go in the easter basket you know like different little things to add in um and then hello dollar store pulling through with the liquid cat suit i mean wet wild is hey i mean i like their liquid um lips a lot and i never saw this color it's more like a brown it's showing up kind of red don't mind my color stains on my nails but yeah i don't know i wasn't gonna pass it up for a dollar and then i also got another one this one's more of like a rose goldy type thing, but I like it. I think they'll look cute, maybe even together, but that's probably an inside shade. And I was looking for like a liner in this color, but these were like hidden in a box. So I'm, I'm glad I got them. And then two other Wet n Wild products. I should have just recorded when I was in the store, but I saw these blushes and this one's sparkly, but the color is what caught me. I've been wanting like a peachy blush for so long. And this kind of looks orange, more like a bronzer, but yeah, it says um, peachy on the top. Yeah, keep it peachy. And it is a blush. So I'm excited to try those two. This one kind of matches my outfit. Guys, this next one, I wish they had more. I would have bought the whole set. If they had any more of these, I seriously would have bought the whole set because I think they're so cool. Look at these copper plates. They're like heavy duty. I mean, you can't even tell, but I just feel in like an aesthetically pleasing home. These, these would be so cool. The bottoms are just black, but regardless, yeah, they're heavy. They feel durable. And I thought I just want two of them. One for me, one for Chance. And I'm going to give my brother two just because they could even be used as decoration or like a holiday plate if you're bringing something to a party. And I think my brother would appreciate it just because they're cool. So... I also got these for his Easter basket because we're Arnold Palmer. Blah, blah, blah. We are Arnold Palmer lovers, that's for sure. He always drinks my Coke every time he comes over, so I got him cherry. I know he likes vanilla. That's like all of our faves, but you know, the dollar store just had the big ones of cherry, so I thought it would look nice in the basket. And some green tea, and then I got all the same for me and Chance. Literally toilet paper from the dollar store because I felt like we were close to being all out, so I just wanted some emergency stuff. Oh, there's RT. Oh my gosh. And I saw these at checkout. Look at them. They're so cute. At first, I just got them because I liked the picture on the front, but they actually are in the shape of fruit. 
so cute look if i set them up here and then my living room on the floor <laughs> so don't mind my um dust this is always dusty because it's black but anyway i thought it was so cute and i can actually smell it from here i mean it's it's cute for a dollar i just thought like i said in the easter basket with the rest of the stuff it's gonna look really cute and then an orange one and i got the same thing for me and chance so two of those um and i think that's really it so i have to run downstairs and get some tissue paper and different stuff to make the baskets cute and then i'm gonna put them together and i'll show you guys when they're finished okay this is our workstation so in my niece's basket so far, I had to take the Barbie boat out of the box because it just isn't going to fit otherwise. So I made it really cute. I put the Barbies in, you know, look at her. Um, and then the mermaid over here. We got the two other babies, the chair, hair ties. There's a bunch of stuff hidden underneath the boat. So it's going smoothly so far. I put some like shaving stuff down there, like paper shaving, paper dust, whatever. And yeah, I just got to keep working and building. And my brother, so far, I decided that it was so much easier to put the bag on the basket first. And he's getting the basket, and I just went with putting hers in a bin. Again, this is, like, for my niece. And um, I just thought, yeah, I mean, if she was a little bit older and she even knew that it was Easter time, I would probably get her a basket. But, you know, this works with the Barbie boat and everything. And I've gotten things, like, over the past few months that I don't know where they are. So I have to kind of do a search around my house before I completely close these up and finalize it. But, you know, yeah, that, that's uh, that's how we're looking. Oh, hey, we're back in the car again. Um, the sun came out. Would you look at that? Um, <laughs> I threw my sunnies on and I'm sitting at the red light right now. So I'm going to my dad's house for dinner. We're not going to go out to eat anymore. I guess we're just going to eat at his house. So yeah, I, I completely forgot. I got a few things at Cosmo for my brother, like shampoo, conditioner, body wash and stuff for his Easter basket. And I literally completely forgot and didn't pack it. So I'm going to have to finish building his Easter basket probably this weekend or at some point tomorrow. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know what I was doing. And yeah, that's probably the rest of my day today. So if I don't get to say a formal goodbye, thanks for tuning in. Um, and I wanted to finish telling you guys about the wax. If I didn't say enough about it, 10 out of 10 would recommend yes so good i'm so happy with it and i'm very happy with the product that she recommended me as well because when i got home um like she told me she told me to put it on so i washed my hands and i put it on and it like immediately soothed it it felt so much better um yeah i just had a really good experience and i think honestly shaving is more painful for me because of how coarse my hair is and like how sensitive my skin is though so yeah i recommend i would definitely say go get it done if you want one done before like a vacation or something um yeah that's about it so thank you guys for watching i hope you like the video and i look forward to seeing you guys soon also i literally never got around to doing my hair or my makeup today um, we're just going with like the Al Naturel vibe, you know, that's basically it for me. Also, um, I know you guys are going to ask questions because literally every single time I wear sunglasses, somebody is like in my DMs or in my comments about like, where did you get them? Um, these are literally from the mall, like just some, you know, little random middle spot at the mall. Yeah. My dad got them for me a while ago. We got the same pair, but his is like silver and like metallic-y chrome. Mine's more like a rose gold. I got a lot done today. Um, I cut my nails down. <laughs> Not because the restaurant told me to, but because um, they're gonna fall off anyway, and sometimes when they're shorter, it's better. So I got these cute little skulls because they sit on my station and I use them and people absolutely love them. And then I got a ton of aftercare products. I got this good conditioner, which I absolutely love. Um, some color protectant shampoo that smells really good as well. And then I got so much stuff here. Yeah. Shampoo. I got Paul Mitchell purple shampoo. Um, I got my favorite Provana leave-in. I got the Neuro reshape for aftercare, and I also got the Neuro shampoo. And a ton of different color. Honestly, there's so much more stuff, but I'll show you guys in another video if you want to see my salon stuff collection. Okay. Up here. Two. Oh, you got it. He got the door. John's head. But we'll do it. <laughs> so 
Oh my head. Huh? I don't want vodka. Make something that doesn't involve vodka. Yes. Water. No grape. No grape. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Mm. That's from the from this side. Look how thick this one is. That's that $39. That I used. Well, Hank, I thought this.